Links, you know that they're important on Instagram, but how can you use them effectively? I'm Subi Zimmerman, and today I'm gonna teach you how to use Linktree so that you can create multiple links on Instagram to drive even more traffic to your website. One of the limitations people have said about Instagram over the years is that you could only share one link in your bio. It's not a deal breaker, and for many, it creates a more seamless, less cluttered experience. But if you're a marketer trying to drive more traffic to your website and promote your content, you want to make sure that you're strategically leveraging this one link. That's why today I'm going to show you how in just a few minutes you can easily use this tool to drive more traffic to your website. And stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to share my smart tip for strategically driving traffic to your latest product offering or special promotion. What is Linktree? First, let's talk about what exactly Linktree is. Simply put, Linktree is an easy to implement tool that's designed to help you get more traffic out of your Instagram bio link. When users tap on your Instagram bio link, they're taken to a page where you can have multiple links. Consider Linktree a workaround for your limited bio link. Linktree offers both a free and a pro version. While both services offer you insights on your link clicks, the pro account gives you a few extra perks, like a day-by-day -day breakdown of your link traffic, more Linktree themes, you also can remove the Linktree branding, and you can give access to your team to manage your Linktree and all the links. You can also retarget your Linktree visitors on Facebook and Instagram by adding your Facebook pixel ID. This is awesome. So whether you're driving traffic to an email opt-in or your latest product or maybe a new blog post, your followers are able to see all your options in a neat, organized way. Here's how Linktree works. Now let's dive in to learn how you can use Linktree. Since there isn't an app, you need to work on the desktop to update and create links on Linktree. And once you've logged in, you'll see this dashboard. You'll want to click on Add New Button Link to create a new offering. Then you're going to want to create your list of bio links. So when you're doing this, think about the links that you're going to want to share. Keep in mind what you're promoting on other social platforms or what people are responding to positively in your feed. Then you're gonna to wanna to create your title first. Make sure it's very, very clear on what you're having people click. They should not have to guess. On the second line, enter the page, the destination, the URL where you want people to go. And once you've entered it, you can now just toggle right here on the right to make the link visible or hidden if you want. And this can be really helpful when you're planning ahead for upcoming events or promotions. Just keep the links hidden until you're ready to begin the promotion. If you want to add new links, all you're gonna do is just click on the Add New Button link. And once you've added all your links, make sure to click on the Preview feature on the right side to make sure that it's laid out exactly how you want. Now you can also toggle the order of your offerings just like this. Okay, now that you're all set up on your offerings and what you want people to see when they tap in to Linktree, you wanna make sure that you're gonna add the URL for Linktree to your Instagram profile. Just simply click on the URL right here in the top right corner of your Linktree dashboard and copy and paste the URL into your Instagram bio and then you're all set. Right here on the left-hand side, you can tap in and ask questions, and you can look at the latest changes. You can also schedule your links by just tapping on the time icon and choosing a start time and an end time for your campaign. Here's where you can see the links that have been clicked, and you can look at the lifetime as well as the past seven days. You can also easily delete a link by simply tapping on the trash can and deleting it. Here's a pro tip for you guys. Make sure that your descriptions are really in your branded voice. You wanna carry that authentic brand experience in all parts of your business, even your Linktree page. 
One account that does this really well is photographer Amanda Hedgepeth. As a professional photographer working in the Outer Banks of North Carolina, her Instagram account is all about positive beach vibes and sharing her love of photographing families and weddings on the Outer Banks. And she carries this authentic brand voice over to her Linktree page using buzzwords that people will also see in her Instagram feed, like salty air and live life simpler and clear link descriptions. She creates a seamless experience for people checking out her Linktree account, and they don't guess that they're still engaging with Amanda's brand, even when they click on Linktree. And that's the point. All of this helps create a greater brand loyalty for her business. If you're a marketer focused on driving more traffic to your website, which let's be honest, we all should be, right? Then Linktree can really be a helpful tool. Here are three other reasons why brands should consider using Linktree. First of all, it frees up your bio link. For those accounts that don't have 10,000 followers and the useful swipe up feature, Linktree is an easy workaround that allows you to promote multiple products, services, or other promotions at once. And instead of having to switch out your bio link for every other post, and go back to make sure you're not telling me (laughs) to click the link in your bio on an older post, you can still direct them just to one link in your bio. It really can create a more user-friendly experience for your followers, and it can save you a lot of time. Number two, track link clicks easily. While there's a lot of data tools out there, many brands feel just too bogged down in the numbers to really understand what's working and what's not. Linktree's dashboard makes it so easy. At a very quick glance, I can tell which links are performing really well and I can also easily adjust to make sure that I'm effectively driving traffic to my website. This is a tool that people at almost any data skill level can feel very comfortable working with. Number three, gives more life to your older content. You invest a lot of time creating your content. So you want to make sure that you get as many eyeballs on it as possible. The SBZ team, which is my team, (laughs) tried this recently by putting our hashtag handbook in our Linktree page and we saw three times as many sales. Even a blog post that would usually start to see a dip in visits after the first few days saw more life after two weeks because we included it as a link in Linktree. While I don't suggest just including old content in hopes that it drives traffic, it is a strategic way to lengthen the life of your semi-recent content. Now here's that ninja tip I promised you. If you wanna drive traffic to one specific blog post or promotion, make sure that you switch back to your custom bit.ly link. People will see one link instead of other options, making it less distracting because one link takes less time and can quickly take people to where you are driving traffic. Cool stuff, right? I know, if this seemed a little advanced for you, no worries, I have you covered. In the description below, I have my free Instagram strategy guide. That is for beginners, so be sure to grab it. And if you like this video, go ahead and tap on that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.